the land acknowledgement and the singing of O Canada. Simcoe County District School Board acknowledges that we are situated on the traditional land of the Anishinaabek people. We acknowledge the enduring presence of First Nation and Métis and Inuit people on this land and committed to moving forward in the spirit of reconciliation and respect. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on God for. Sounds so good, and you're looking a little bit pale too. Are you sure you should be doing High Park News this week? Well, actually, that's what I'm here to tell you. I don't feel so good, and my mom and I went on the COVID screening site like we do every day, and today I got a big red screen. Oh yeah, our teacher showed us that, and that big red screen means to stay home. Yeah, <coughs> I think I might just sit this one out and go straight to bed. I'm sure I'll be back next week. Okay, Wally. Get well soon. Bye, Wally. Bye. That's too bad, but the show must go on. True, Molly. So let's tell everyone what is going on in today's show. Today is Friday, December 4th, 2020, Cycle Day 1. On today's episode, we will remind you about the book fair. There will be a couple of special announcements for the upcoming events, and we will go to the halls to hear what you have to say. Yes, I love hearing from all of you. Let's get started. Well... As you know, the book fair is on, but there are only five days left, so you should be sure to go to bit.ly hide book fair to order your books today. You know those toys and journals and stuff that you can usually get at the book fair? They're on here too. Watch this last Scholastic commercial break. COVID elves are here today and they have a message for us about the Christmas cheer. Hello, I'm here at the Elf Elf Workshop with Jingle the Elf. Hello, Jingle. Hello, hello, Seekers. I understand you and the other elves are working hard to help us. That's right. Every year we help families in need have a great holiday. Wow, how do you do that? We usually collect toys and food for families in need. This year it's a little different. Different? Oh. Well, because of COVID-19, we don't collect food and toys, but we collect money online. How do you collect money online? Oh, that's simple. We ask our Hyde Park families to visit the Christmas cheer link on the Hyde Park website. They can donate money there. So you want our Hyde Park families to go on the school website and click on the Christmas cheer link? Once they're there, it's easy to donate money and they get to help a needy family have a great holiday season. Thanks to you elves in Christmas cheer, a lot of people will be helped this year. And a special thanks to you, our Hyde Park com community, for your spirit of giving. We have a challenge for all of the classes. Listen here to find out how you can get involved. Attention all seekers, this is a message from your voice to action team. We want a glimpse of how you celebrate your winter festivities and celebrations. Do you celebrate 
What do you celebrate? Who do you celebrate it with? Are there any symbols that represent your holiday? We are encouraging you, no challenging you and your class to create something that represents the cultures and values that families in your class celebrate. We will each and all be tasked with the mission of adding anything that can fit on paper. Most accurately reflects your holiday traditions with some fin. You could draw a poem, perhaps paint a picture or anything you feel can really commemorate what your holiday season is all about. Come on everyone, show up to the entire school. Each class has a bulletin board labeled with their teacher's name. Start sharing and creating. Please have your boards up by and ready by 9 a.m. Friday, December 18th for pictures to be taken and shared on social media. Happy holiday seekers! So, we've been hearing a lot of advice from adults these days on the news and in our homes and as the holiday season approaches we thought it would be a good idea for the adults to get a little advice from our generation we do know a lot of good things you know so we went to the hallways to hear what advice you would give to the adults in your life at the end of this crazy year every morning you should do the covid screening I'm allowed to go to the park with my friends and shoppers because I'm responsible. Please get me basketball for Christmas. Stay calm about all the COVID stuff because I feel like they'd be getting overwhelmed about the screening and all the other things like mask wearing and sanitizing and all the protocols for school. I'd be a good job on it. When we're playing a game online, you can't tell us to pause the game because we're playing it online with other people. So if we pause the game, then we're pausing time and that's impossible. Don't smoke. Do not yell. Don't be angry when you're older. It'll just make it worse. Please, can you let me ice cream? I think I need an allowance because I have a large I don't want to clean my room on the weekend. The weekend is for relaxing, I can choose when I clean my room. I think that I should have my own room. You need to learn not to run the dishwasher every day so me and my brother don't have to empty it every day. Play in the snow every day. When COVID is over, I'm, I want to go to a different country. My advice to parents is to donate to Christmas cheer at our Hyde Park website. Your birthdays for today and the upcoming week are Ava B, Kate C, Elizabeth B, Logan J, Max C, Genesis S, Hunter Q, Sonny U, Abby F. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! So, next week we really hope Wally will be back to report the announcements. Surprise girls, I watched the whole thing. You did a great job. I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, Seekers! Bye. Bye. Looks like a cold, cold winter. Plenty of ice and snow. But we'll keep the love light in our hearts.